The sites of war in Ukraine are similar to conflicts we have seen over the years, but for today's school kids, it's the first drawn out military engagement of their young lives. News 9's Gus McDonald has a look at how Metro teachers are handling it. Images of the battles between Russia and Ukraine are distressing and the politics are complicated. I talked to a history teacher who has some tips on how to teach kids about this conflict. I had students asking me about what was going on. Uh, you know, some students, um, their parents are in the military with Tinker being close by. A lot of questions were coming up of, you know, where is Ukraine? Um, why is Russia doing this? He says it can be tough to talk about current events when global players share misinformation. You know, sharing fake images, fake videos. So be careful about what you see on social media. Many scenes from Ukraine show bloody conflict and violence. But Harp says you can avoid those details for younger kids. They can just be talking about what, what are the effects on these people? Um, how do the borders change? Um, why do countries invade? He recommends some of the resources prepared by Brown University's choices.edu. This website offers videos and information that's accessible to students. The site breaks it all down and emphasizes historical context and keeping a sharp eye out for good media sources. Harp is also the president-elect for the Oklahoma Council of History Education. He says good education on current events helps fight fear and anxiety. You know, students and young people are going to see things on the news. They're going to see things on TikTok. They're going to see things on Instagram. I think if we give them the real-time information and the education, it can make them feel a little bit more informed and better about the situation. If you're interested in learning more, I've linked those Brown University resources in this article in the News 9 app. Augusta McDonald, Oklahoma's own News 9.